Welcome everyone from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a homily by Saint Gregory Nazianzen, Bishop. We are soon going to share in the Passover. So let us take our part. In the Passover, prescribed by the law, not in a literal way, but according to the teaching of the Gospel, not in an imperfect way, but perfectly not only for a time, but eternally. Let us regard as our home the heavenly Jerusalem, not the earthly one. The city glorified by angels, not the one laid waste by armies. We are not required to sacrifice young bulls or rams, beasts with horns and hoofs that are more dead than alive and devoid of feeling. But instead, let us join the choirs of angels in offering God upon His heavenly altar a sacrifice of praise. We must now pass through the first veil and approach the second, turning our eyes toward the Holy of Holies. I will say more. We must sacrifice ourselves to God each day and in everything we do. Accepting all that happens to us for the sake of the Word. imitating His passion by our sufferings and honoring His blood by shedding our own. We must be ready to be crucified.
If you are a Simon of Cyrene, take up your cross and follow Christ. If you are crucified beside him like one of the thieves, now, like the good thief, acknowledge your God. For your sake and because of your sin, Christ himself was regarded as a sinner. For his sake, therefore, you must cease to sin. Worship him who was hung on the cross because of you. Even if you are hanging there yourself. Derive some benefit from the very shame. Purchase salvation with your death. Enter paradise with Jesus and discover how far you have fallen. Contemplate the glories there and leave the other scoffing thief to die outside in his blasphemy. If you are a Joseph of Arimathea, go to the one who ordered his crucifixion and ask for Christ's body. Make your own the expiation for the sins of the whole world. If you are a Nicodemus, like the man who worshipped God by night, bring spices and prepare Christ's body for burial. If you are one of the Marys or Salome or Joanna, weep in the early morning. Be the first to see the stone rolled back. and even the angels, perhaps, and Jesus himself. From the Desert With Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.